All right, I had a little revelation here that some people might be interested in. Uh, this transmission and overdrive is off a of big Healy, but the point being, um, what I wanted to touch base about was the oil level. So while I was working on the XK150, the overdrive didn't work, and like a dumbass, instead of taking it apart while I had the engine out, um, I did it, and that's a whole other story. And of course, when I got it back in the car and fixed all the electricals, it didn't work. So I did all my research and watched all my videos, and uh, I went to drain uh, the oil out of the overdrive unit here from the bottom where the strainer is, and uh, do a bunch of checking here of the accumulator and of the of the check valve that's in here, and uh, I noticed that 16 ounces of oil came out, and I went to check the stick. It said it was up on the high mark. So I'm like, well, now that's odd. It's sitting there, okay, up on a lift, high mark on a stick, this drain plug out, and no oil coming out. So I thought if I put that back together empty and, and then looked at the stick and said, oh, it's full, I'm good, really? I don't think so. So here, I put this here for demonstration purposes. Pretend this is a E-type gear case, okay? So this fill plug is about five inches from the top of this trans case. So when you measure the dipstick, the high part of the dipstick, and then deduct this distance from here and then come down to here, okay? Follow this along here, lines up exactly with this mark. It's kind of like casting mark coming along this overdrive housing. I follow it around to here, and I get all the way over to here, and I realize that the level has to be about this high, no less, for it to fill up this accumulator chamber, to be able to can't really see it in there, but you have to be able to uh, have the oil pump, which is a pickup on the oil pump for this overdrive unit. It's pretty high up there, and uh, it has to make its way over here and have the oil come in for the tail housing. All right, well, that ain't going to happen with oil to the high mark on this stick. So what I ended up doing was I ended up taking out the control valve. I made my own little dipstick, okay, put a little black sharpie on there for contrast. And with the washer, ceiling washer in place, drop this down here and you can see it comes right, there it is, it comes almost right level with this casting right there. And that means your level's going to be here, it's going to come out, it's going to fill the tail housing. So when you look in the manual, an E-type Moss gearbox four-speed without the overdrive is one and a half quarts. Well, that ain't going to cut it when you have to fill this whole overdrive assembly and the oil doesn't feel like coming out that port right there and filling all this up. So with an overdrive unit on it, it's supposed to be 2.25 liter or 2.38 quart. So what I ended up doing was I ended up overfilling it, and actually it's not overfilling it, but just for the sake of argument, that's what I ended up doing. Overfilling this, once I got this overdrive reassembled, and I was one inch up on the stick. So here's the deal. When they make this transmission housing, and they make this dipstick, is there an overdrive version of it? Where this fill hole is higher up? or the dipstick high mark is higher up on a stick? I don't think so. So to me, this is useless and that's useless when it's an overdrive transmission because these are designed and marked for a non-overdrive. That's my two cents. So if you do a drain on this housing here and a drain on the overdrive and put in your 2.25 liter or whatever, to me, I would just put in two and a half quarts. It's going to fill this box, come through this port in there, 
and fill this back housing up to about here and then fill the tail housing up like it should. And to check it, you know, it's not a big deal to take the ball and the spring and the control valve out of this and dipstick it just to check it, okay? So if you do a full oil change, you don't need to worry about this or this dipstick height. But if you do like what I did where you're just working on this overdrive unit and you look at this stick and go, oh, it's full, you're going to have a problem. So anyway, um, I ended up using this stick uh, as just a, a, a checking point just to make sure. And sure enough, I'm an inch high on the stick on the XK150. So that's where I'm going to be. Now the next time I go to change the oil, I can drop the oil out of the trans case and the overdrive, put in my two and a half quarts, check my stick level here, and also just for the sake of argument, if I feel like it, I can reincorporate my little checking stick here and make sure that I'm up to this level up here so that the whole overdrive assembly is going to be oiled and it's going to be oiled up high enough for the plunger pump in here to pick up the oil and to have enough oil for all the bearings and other nonsense. So that's my story. Something to think about. Alright, 10-4 out.